Hi friends, I want to show you something today that I've done for 10 years or more uh, and it works great for several things. It's my own homemade bug spray. It keeps mosquitoes away, spiders, um, it cleans out the, if you have a swamp cooler, I pour it inside the swamp cooler to keep mold from coming in and refresh in the house and it keeps the bugs away. When you do that, you put it in the swamp cooler, it comes through into the house and it keeps the bugs out of the house because they don't like the smell. Um, when we travel to South America several times uh, on service missions, you always worry about bringing back friends, <laughs> roaches or bed bugs or those kind of things. And some of the houses we cleaned out were not the cleanest. So this is the homemade um, bug spray that I've made for years and we use all the time. We never ever use it off. Um, in fact, when we were in Peru, we had a, a, we were cleaning out a house. The lady's backyard was completely full of recyclable. Um, it had mulched. It was the recyclables had been there so long. When we first got there, her little girl ran in the house and the next thing I know she was on the roof. And I'm like, how did she get on the roof in 30 seconds or less? Well, the garbage was as tall as the house in the backyard. So she just climbed up the garbage and then jumped on the roof. Um, if that's how bad it was. All the cleanest places in that yard were pig pens and they had chickens and rabbits in cages and uh, roaming geese that would bite, eat the bugs down. And um, there was huge, really colorful, nasty looking spiders. And we were worried about all sorts of getting bitten by all sorts of things. And the first day, uh, several of the volunteers that were on the service mission with us sprayed the DEET stuff head to toe. And um, I just used my bug spray and put it on me and, you know, and my kids. And uh, we didn't get one bug bite. Our friends who had put the the bug the repellent bug repellent on um, were getting bitten and eaten alive. The second day, everybody in the bus borrowed our bug spray and put it on them and never got bitten. And they just at first they were like, "Oh no, we need this." And I said, "Well, we're just going to try our stuff." And then the next after that, we went to that house for two days. Um, so when we went to that house. Uh, it was interesting how. Um, the second day, everybody just used our, our bug spray. And, and if we went to another place that there was bugs that um, on the rest of that trip, because that was our very first stop on the trip, then um, they, they used it as well when we would go to a place where there would be like mosquitoes. There was no more or dirty places like that first one, but there was um, other just bugs. So um, it starts with the basic oils, essential oils. Um, I These ones were purchased bulk um, I, by the court. And, um, but I also have bought them over the years from the Now brand. Um, I don't use this on the body as a therapeutic oil like I would a thief's. Like I, I wouldn't take it internally like I do the thieves oil that I use. And I, I talk about that on my blog. So I'm not going to go into that. This is just for the outside. Of the Typically, I put it on the hair and I put it on the clothes. And, um, and it's not one I use to rub on the body like for healing. But it does touch the body as you, you know, you're putting it on you. Um, just don't touch your eyes um, if you use your hand to put it on. Typically what I'll do is I'll put a sprayer on it. So I will make it and keep it in the glass bottles because it will melt plastic. And I have sent this on all my children's missions. Now, one's gone to Africa on a service mission. One went to Thailand on a service mission. Um, and then I had one in the Philippines on a 18 month mission. I had one in Japan, uh, Thai, Taiwan on a service mission. Um, I have one now that's in Japan on a, uh, I mean, on a 18 month mission, I have one in Japan that's finishing up an 18 month mission. And then we've been to Peru twice on service missions to different places. So this has been all over the world with us. And, um, so I will send a bottle depending on what size I need. You can see this one says bug mix. <laughs> this one says bug mix. And this one says bug mix. <laughs> so depending on where they're going and how long they're going, I send that bottle with them. But then I put it into a plastic spray bottle. Um, 
if I'm going when we're going to actually use it. Now, you don't have to dump it right back out. If you're going for a two week trip, the bottle will last. Those plastic bottles will last for um, two weeks. You know, let me grab one and show you what it looks like. I didn't think about that. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is what I'll send them. This one's a little bit bigger than than um, the one I'll send. Usually, I'll just use a littler bottle. But uh, so then um, we just transport this empty. Oh, the flights and everything. You just don't want it to expand and explode all over your luggage and your luggage. This will make your luggage smell really good. And I'll show you, I'll tell you how we use it on the body and on the bed bug for the bed bugs and um, in your room if you're worried about cockroaches on your luggage. So um, we take this bottle empty with the lid, you know, off, whatever, clean out whatever was in it, dry it out, take it in your luggage in a baggie, zip baggie. So I'll put that normally in a zip baggie and then in a zip baggie. Because if you're gonna travel like by bus or in Peru, we traveled oh, 2,000 feet on the bus every day. So if you put it in one bag and it gets hot, you know, high and it leaks a little bit, you don't want it to get into your backpack. It will melt plastics and stuff and, and can damage things. Um, it'll take, you can see it kind of melts the, this one I have to put a plastic tape over because if it touches it, that's what will happen. It will melt Sharpie and take Sharpie off of things too. So um, typically I'll, I'll write the label in Sharpie and then put tape over it. This has mass uh, packing tape over it so that it doesn't, if it drips down, it doesn't bleed the writing because I don't want anybody to accidentally use this for something else. And typically I label all of my mine on the lid too. So they're easier to, to pull out if they're in a, how I'll travel, how I'll carry these is um, I will put them in a, a lunch, like a cooler, zip padded side cooler. So I'll stick these this in the cooler. I'll wrap a plastic bag around it and put the next one in the next one if I'm sending these with a child somewhere. But I, I don't typically take all of these individually. I'm looking down at myself. I'm sorry. Um, I typically don't look... Um, take all these, I'll just make the bug mix and take that. So this is in two baggies. This is in two baggies. Okay. This is the bug mix. This is the empty bottle. You're going to spray it on your bed, on you and whatever. So I typically don't touch the mix with my hand because if you touch your eye accidentally after you uh, apply it, it will burn your eye. And so for children, don't, you know, don't spray it on the face. We don't typically spray it on the face and we don't typically touch it to our hands. So with that, once, once I've made it and I'm using it, we pour some of it into the spray bottle. And I'm not going to spray this on me because it's got some GSE in it, so I don't want to get that on me. But So I pour some, not fill it up, don't fill it up. Just pour a little bit in that you're going to use for that day. So just pour maybe a tablespoon in it if you're just going to apply it to your you and your family for the day um, or for, an, you know, whatever. And then, um, so what you do is I spray it on the back of our heads and the top of our heads, and then I kind of pull it down. So the, the droplets get on your hair and then I'll pull it down so that it's covering all the pieces of the hair, not just here. And then once that's done, then I'll spray it on my clothes and, and then um, kind of rub it dry on, dry on my clothes and dry my clothes. And then, so um, any, you've got enough on you, on your clothes and your hair that it will most likely repel anything that's coming towards you. It has a pleasant smell. It smells like cinnamon and clove. In fact, most people say, how come your, lo your luggage or your, home or your room always smells like Christmas? Because it's got the oils that are in it are cassia, which is cinnamon. And clove. Eucalyptus. Um, usually it's the glow glow. Uh, this one's radia, radiata, but um, you can buy either. I have bought either type of of eucalyptus, um, just whichever's cheapest. Um, lemon, rosemary. So those are the five that are from thieves oil. So I put those in. Then for um, the really intense bug spray, I was a little worried that maybe that wouldn't be enough. And so I just bought citronella and I put citronella in it. 
So the ratio, <laughs> I'm not picky on the ratio. Usually more cinnamon and more clove, so it smells more like a Christmas. And then if if I want it to smell good, because um, some people don't like the eucalyptus smell, um, I sometimes will put tea tree in it, depending, um, because that's a little bit of a cheaper oil. You can get a two ounces of that at Walmart for less than $10. Um, and sometimes it's hard to find citronella. So if that's the case, I'll put some tea tree in it. And peppermint is also a really cheap oil that's watery and uh, inexpensive. Um, some of these oils are a little thicker. And so I use the more watery oils to kind of dilute it and make it easier to spray and not so gummy. So a peppermint is a good one. And that's, that's why people think it smells like Christmas. Because I'll often diffuse this bug spray with um, peppermint in it to make the house smell fresh. So I will just put a drop or two in the back of the... Uh, where the water comes in on the swamp cooler. I'll put a couple of drops in there when I'm leaving town and I'll run it through the swamp cooler so that the oils will get into the, the cedar or whatever type of padding you used. It will get in the pad and that will keep the pad from mildewing and it will keep the, the tray where the water sits because you're not using it while you're away unless you've got it on a timer or something. And then that stagnant water will then breed um, insects if an, a mosquito gets in there or it can um, mold and then get a mildew and then when you turn your swamp cooler on the mildew from the pads and the mildew from the water and the sl it'll get a little sludgy in there will then permeate into the house and I and I'm very sensitive to molds and spores and things like that so um, I always put this in if I'm leaving town I'll put a couple of drops of that in and run it for five minutes and that makes the house smell really good keeps the bugs out spiders don't like it um Bugs don't like this at all. So you can make your own bug spray for your house and spray it around the foundation. It will, it, because it's oil, it doesn't wash off as much as like a water soluble, but it does wash off eventually. Um, but it, it works fabulously for mosquitoes and um, bed bugs and those kind of things. So I researched before we went to Peru about bed bugs and um, I was worried we'd bring them home or cockroaches because a lot of them, that's just how they live. They have, I saw cockroaches in the hotels down there. So what I did was before we left, I sprayed the inside of, of all of our suitcases and the zipper on the outside of all of our suitcases so that um, the bugs, roaches wouldn't go into our luggage because sometimes you can bring a bed bugs or roaches home in your suitcase. So I sprayed the suitcases so that bed bugs and roaches would not get in there. And then every hotel, as soon as we got there, um, I would check the mattresses because you can see signs of bed bugs on mattresses oftentimes or the headboard against the wall. So I would just check there and then I would just get our pump spray. I'd pour more bug spray in for that hotel and for the next day, you know, so we had just a little bit at all times. I never wanted to fill this up because I didn't want it to um, explode or um, get melty. So I would spray, I'd, I'd kind of just take, I'd make sure I'd tuck in all the bedding off of the floor so that there wouldn't be anything climbing up off of the floor and tuck it in under the bottom mattress where the uh, between the mattresses. And then I would spray the base of the bed because sometimes they'll climb up the bed legs and, and then the mattress and then get you from the bedside table or something. So I would just spray the entire base of the bed and then I would spray up by our heads and by the pillows because oftentimes they'll get in your hair and then you'll take them to the next place. And then we also put our luggage on those metal luggage stands um, so that the peop the the bed bugs can't climb up that metal bed stand where your luggage stand. So that's why they had them in hotels back in the day, and that's why they have those is because the bed bugs can't climb up that stainless steel. So you would have that luggage stand, and you'd put your luggage on that, and then anything that was like a backpack or something, you never put it on the bed or a dresser because the bed bugs can come in from there and get in your luggage and come home with you. So we would always hang our backpacks on the hangers in the closet and then we would always make sure our beds, I would spray the beds and um, put our suitcases on those luggage stands when we were when they were open and then when they weren't I would just put them on top of the dresser and spray around it so that they wouldn't get in there. I know that sounds a little OCD but um, being a single mom of five kids we had a bed bug scare once. We actually didn't end up having them in the end but it was a lot of work and I thought I don't want to ever go through that again. It's kind of like head lice. We had a scare once we didn't have them but 
boy, the work, because I thought we did combing five girls hair out, vacuuming the whole house. You know, it, it was nuts spraying all the furniture. And then we ended up not having them anyway. So I didn't want to have that scare again. So I was a little OCD because they have long, long hair. All of them had long hair. So we'd braid their hair every day and then we'd spray this on their hair so that they wouldn't get bitten and bring anything home. And to my rem remembrance, none of us got bitten either trip. We went twice and, and we didn't ever get bitten. So this is a fabulous thing. Now, measurements. I know it's a long video, but I want to explain all that. I just get a jar and I try and do uh, mostly cinnamon, then clove, lemon, eucalyptus, rosemary evenly, and then a little less citronella. Citronella, citronella is a pretty strong um, smelling plant. Uh, and so I uh, just put a, a little bit less of that. And then um, if I'm going to do peppermint I'll just do a dash of peppermint because that can get pretty strong as well and tea tree sometimes I'll just if we're going out of the country I'll probably just put a, a drop or two of tea tree in it anyway because I don't think it can hurt anything all of my kids like all of those smells they've they've smelled this their whole lives because I have a diffuser going most of the time with the cinnamon clove eucalyptus and uh, peppermint or maybe orange sometimes in the house at all times just because it keeps uh, we don't get colds and stuff as often. And I also have one in the car that I'll, you can go on my YouTube channel and check it out. Um, it's a called a, a car diffuser. I basically just use an old um, air freshener and, and keep oils in the car. And then we just spray the oils on the old little paper diffuser thing, that air freshener thing. And we just keep adding to it and just spray it when we're going on a long trip. And then I'll turn the fan on in the car and it will diffuse it in the car if anybody's sneezing or sick so that we don't have to get it. And so that is our homemade bug spray. So if you're going to be in a place where you're going to be in the water a lot, um, you want to apply this a little bit more thicker than you would because it's oil based. It should stain in your hair. And um, if you're going to wear like a, a sunsuit, a sun t-shirt or something, I would just spray it on the, your sun t-shirt, um, not under the arms because if you sweat, it will burn. But um, if you're just going to be wearing like a t-shirt like this in the water or something, you can just spray it right across the top of it or something so that it's on um, the oil gets onto the shirt. It will stain. It is an oil. But um, typically, if you're swimming in it anyway, it's not something you're really fabulously, you know, fashion conscious about um, because that oil will keep the bugs from biting you. Um, when you come out, it, because it has oil, it will kind of adhere to your your hair and your skin. You might have to reapply it if you've been in the water a long time, but um, as long as your head's out most of the time, it should just, that oil, it should just keep them from touching you. Don't spray it on the face directly. Don't apply it to kids' faces or anywhere they can touch. So if I'm applying it to children, I do it to the back of the hair and top around the hair, pull it down, you know, don't let them touch it. Pull it down so that it's all in their hair, and then I'll spray the back of their clothing because that's going to still keep it away from the front of them. It's enough that it's going to repel them far from the, the clothing. So um, if we're going to be in the woods or somewhere, we've got a mosquito, we're going to a game and there's mosquitoes. I typically just put a couple of sprays on my head and spray a few on my clothing. Not close enough that it's going to leave a, a wet oil mark, but enough far enough away that it's just going to have a residue smell. So, and sometimes I'll use just regular thieves oil. And if I'm using regular thieves oil, I'll just grab the bottle. I'm just, I'll show you with this. Um, they all have these little drop spouts, most of them. And so I'll just do this on my, like the side. I don't put a drop on it. I just do that. And then I just kind of do this. And then if it's a one I like, I'll just do it down the side of my, my neck to keep it away, keep them away from me. And if this, the bugs are really bad, I might just take, put, put some on my wrist and just do this on my hair. Just and I carry thieves with me all the time. So that's a way to keep them off of you. Um, whenever you're around, if you have it with you all the time. But um, the citronella, it, it doesn't bother me. The smell doesn't bother me. But those other oils will keep it. They smell good. And people are always like, when I fly, I'll put a little bit of this on, uh, the thieves oil or this blend on, because I always take it with me when I travel. And um, people who come in the plane will always go, oh, somebody smells good. <laughs> And they're like, I wonder what that is. And I'm like, well, it depends. Do you really like it? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, okay, it's me. And I show them my oils and talk to them about it. And then they're all like, ooh, I want that recipe because <laughs> it smells good, but it also keeps the bugs off. So, and it's healthy. There's no deed or anything in it, but we've never had a problem getting bitten. So just be aware. Don't put it on the skin because people can have sensitivities. Don't put a ton on because if you're sitting next to somebody that has a, 
an allergy to sensitive to cinnamon or something, you don't want them to have a problem with it. Um, but you just put on enough that you can b barely smell it. The insects will stay away. They just will. So you don't have to put a ton on. But th when I'm saying I did it in my hair and all over it, that was when we were going into that infested house. Um, typically, we just do like I just did. I'll just do that and, and I'm done. And that's how I do it. So and if you came in my house right now from 100 feet away, you'd be smelling the citronella. It it's pretty, it smells, it's just not, and cinnamon. If I put on the bug spray, you'd smell the cinnamon because that's what mostly is in it. So no, no exact science because I said we don't use it on the body. This is just a bug spray we use on the clothes or hair or um, shoes. I'll put, if we're going in a chigger area or something, I just spray it on my shoes and socks, bottom of my pants, they stay away. So, um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Check out, I have this bug spray on my blog. You can just type in bug, bug spray on the bottom of the search engine on the homepage there. Uh, and you can find it. And I've got plenty of other videos that are you might find interesting on my YouTube channel, The Secret is Gratitude. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.